Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? My name is Samantha and I am the Boho Witch here on YouTube and Artsy Mouse over on Instagram. Welcome back to my lovely subscribers and welcome to those of you who are new here. You're definitely in the right place to watch some witchy unboxings, make some magical crafts, and learn a little bit about the craft itself. So go ahead and subscribe if you aren't already and hit that bell so you never miss out on another awesome video. In today's video, I'm going to be opening up the Tarot and Oracle box from Awakening in a Box. Now this is their highest box, costing you around $58 per month, featuring one tarot deck, one oracle deck, one crystal, and two products to use in your craft. If you guys want to get in on the monthly magic and start growing your deck collection, don't forget about that discount code. All that information is located down below in the description. Alrighty, the first thing we have from our box is the Zillick Tarot by Christine Zillick. Featuring 78 cards and one 60-page booklet, this artist explores mythological, astrological, and Kabbalistic symbols in this intriguing Thoth-style tarot deck. The illustrations are very watercolor, which is very, very beautiful. And for the most part, they stick with the uh, Rider weight style of tarot decks, but she does change a couple of the names of the card. So what is supposed to be strength, she calls lust. What is supposed to be justice, she calls adjustment. And what is supposed to be judgment, she calls justice. <laughs> and then what uh, is supposed to be called the world, she calls the universe. Then we have our crystal of the month, which is two little chalcedony druzies. This stone is great for promoting a sense of joy while bringing about a calm and peaceful environment. It can also help relieve you of negative emotions, bringing a greater sense of overall happiness into your life. It aligns with the heart and crown chakras and the zodiac signs Gemini, Cancer, and Sagittarius. Then we have this beautiful little incense burner. The center is, I'm guessing, for a cone, and then the four little dots around it hold incense sticks. And coming up next, we have our oracle deck of the box, which is the Sacred Cycles Oracle by Jill Pyle and M. Dewey. Illustrations by Jesse White. This deck is made up of 50 cards with one guidebook, focusing on connecting with the ancient pulse of the Earth's wisdom through your sacred cycles, moon phases, menstruation, seasons, of flora and fauna, and the passage of time. This deck is an oracle for anyone in need of guidance, whether they experience a menstrual cycle or not. I definitely love the artwork on this deck. The colors and just the imagery and everything is really, really nice. Um, definitely gonna be adding it to my personal collection for sure. And last but not least, we have a 10-pack of some mini incense sticks. These are chosen for their ability to bring us to a meditative state. Alrighty guys, well that's all I have for you from the month of April Tarot and Oracle box from Awakening in a Box. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today and watching along as I review the box. Definitely let me know what your favorite item was, what you thought about it. I always love hearing what you guys have to say and talking back with you. I think my favorite thing was probably the uh, Sacred Cycles Oracle. It's unlike anything I have, and I just absolutely love the artwork of it. If you guys want to grow your own tarot and oracle decks, don't forget about that discount code. All the information is located down below in the description. And as always, remember to be kind to each other, do what you will, but harm none. All right, bye guys. Mm -hmm.